Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So I'm just coming from church, okay? Had such a powerful time in church. And so obviously we're going to be running a little bit late. I apologize for that. But that our God is good, amen? Our God is merciful. Do you understand that? He's merciful. What a wonderful God we serve. History will never be the same again because of that triumphant entry. Amen? History will never be the same. Oh, wow, just a little bit. That's a blessing. It's a powerful book, right? Listen, I want us to find ourselves in a tech. Devil is a liar. You know, this recently this thing keeps happening where it just keeps cutting off. You know, like Periscope will shut down by itself. I don't know what kind of demon that is, but we don't receive that. Amen. We ain't receiving that. Amen. Amen. We took Micaiah to church, you know, for the first time. I think it was a little bit hot, you know. I think Micaiah gets that one from me. He just doesn't like the heat. I can't stand the heat. So, you know, I, I, I make sure that I'm not, you know, wearing anything that will make me hot. Amen. What a wonderful God we serve. Is it freezing or is it better? In Jesus' name. On our way to victory. On our way to our assignment. On, a, on our way to destiny. Nothing will withhold us. Nothing will shut us down. Amen. We will. Kovansia. Veson Debiosa. Ah, we bless your name. We bless your name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. What a wonderful God we serve. In Jesus' name. Nothing will prevent us. My God, this is a victorious day. Amen. This is a wonderful day. This is a, this is a time where there's nothing that the devil can do. Do you understand what I'm saying? In Jesus' name. There is nothing that the demons can do. The demons ain't got no power. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. I had a powerful time in service. And I'm just here to encourage you, okay? How many of you have never? Hey, listen. You remember when I told you, I think a couple of weeks ago, when I was in the service and I, you know, I went to visit a friend's church and the prophet spoke and said a whole, a whole bunch of stuff to me. Now, you know how I am very skeptical about these prophets. I was like, okay, let me hear what he's got to say. Do you remember I told you, I shared a story with you and he mentioned the name of a hotel. Do you remember? Then he turned around, he was talking to somebody else. He turned around and looked at me and said, you eat at that hotel. I said, okay, that's true. You know, that was the first. I was like, okay, let me see what he's got to say. So after he came to me and spoke a few things. Do you remember? Do you remember I told you that? Okay. Uh, remember, the Sunday after when I went to church, there was a lady that was sitting in front of me, in the, you know, in the second row. I was on the third row. Dr. Nikisha, listen to this. She was on the second row. And for some strange reason, she had a bag. You know them paper bags, right? From the hotel with a name on there. I don't know why. I, I guess it's the Holy Ghost that directed me to look. And when I looked, I said, hold on a minute. That's the same hotel that the man of God mentioned the night before. As if, because of my doubt, God was using that to confirm. You know, I don't believe in no coincidence. Amen? Are you following what I'm sharing with you this morning? I don't believe in no... Now, that was about probably three weeks ago, if I'm right. Well, guess what? Guess what happened today in church? Dr. Nikisha, you don't believe what happened in service today. I'm sitting in service. I get there. Take my seat. Actually, the seat was reserved for me. So I take my seat. And there's two ladies on my right and a young gentleman on my left. Lo and behold, when I look down, guess what? Guess what? That lady that I saw three weeks ago with a bag, she was sitting right next to me with the same bag. She was sitting next to me. I even took a, I, I, I took a picture of it. Maybe I'll show it to you in the evening on my other phone. I'll show it to you in the evening. I'll show it to you in the evening. With the same bag. I sneakily, you know, I took a picture of it when she, when she went looking. For my own prayer. When I'm praying tonight, today. When I'm praying tonight, that's what I'm going to use. Oh, Kabasia. You know what I heard the Lord? Hey, the Lord said, Albert, it is closer to you than you think. Because Elizabeth. Oh, I sneakily took a picture. I'll show it to you tonight. It's, it's, um, it's on my other phone. I didn't bring it. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I left it in the room. Oh, this is, 
Sister Elizabeth, I, you know, I just, you know, like, you, you know, I tell my picture, you know, I tell my phone, God forgive me. And, you know, I just took a picture because I need that as evidence. She, when I come into prayer, she, a, a good lawyer, you know what I'm saying, will win a court case. What is now with the presentation evidence? See, when you leave, you know, I don't know if, I, I don't know if America you have it, but I know in London, you know, like they say, uh, uh, with, with, without reasonable doubt. Hey, when somebody is convicted without without any doubt, there is no doubt because the case that the lawyer presented, it doesn't leave any room for you to doubt that this person is guilty or this person is not guilty. So I took a picture of it tonight. That's what I'm going to use to pray. Listen to me. Listen, I'm crazy because the man, I told you, he said, it's going to be one of the youngest millionaires or billionaires in the country. I said, well, you know, that means it's got to happen very soon, right? I ain't going to sit there till my beard is gray. You know, I've got one gray hair here somewhere. The devil is a liar. I ain't going to increase. You see what I'm saying? I will manifest. And remember what I told you yesterday. See, as we're praying, especially in the evening, the Lord is saying to me, you know, I, I watch, I'm, I, you know, Dr. Nikisha, I read a little bit about, you know, the Gulf states, Saudi Arabia. And you know, the, the little that I'm going to go deeper into, the, that place, that region used to be a nomadic area. The, the, do you know what that word means? Hey, Sister Cheryl, Sister Cheryl, you need to go back and, and play back what I just said. They will bless you. So listen, that place used to be a nomadic area. It means that nobody settled there because there was nothing in the land. Sister Sheila, you, you two, you missed it. It will bless you. Do you see what I'm saying? Until a discovery was made. A human being decided to call it a desert. But the God that we serve said these people, they can't see. That's why I stop allowing the so-called experts to put a tag or, or a name tag or a price tag on you. I'm getting ready to lose my mind. Tonight I'm, tonight I'm getting ready to lose my mind. Because, listen to me, it's no coincidence. When that, you know, I looked, Dr. Nikisha, I looked and I'm like, you know, I got excited in the church. I said, God, if I don't hear anything else, I know you're real. Because it's no coincidence that this woman is sitting next to me today. So listen to me. Our prayers are... Listen, you need to... You know, the, the, the man of God said something today. He said, it is not that God doesn't speak. It is just that the negative voices seem to have been amplified. Whilst the still small voice, the silent voice, is very difficult to tune in when everybody else is making noise. So sometimes you need to find you a quiet place. Put a do, you know, I love Prophet Khan, you know, Prophet Khan, uh, you know, traveling with him, learning from him. When, um, uh, you know, when I moved to Jacksonville, you know, you know and um, we, we went to his grandmother's house. He's always told the story. I, kn I knew the story. So when we go to grandma's house, I say, hey. Grandma Mary, I said, this is the place where Prophet, you know, uh, you know, grew up, you know, uh, and he showed me the room where he used to stay, used to be in, and he would live, you know, this when he was, I mean, Prophet Khan is young, but this was young God, he used to put on the door, do not disturb, because he was caught up with God in the room, so he said, Ma, you know, his mama, Grandma Mary, nobody would come and disturb him, because they knew he was, in, he was tapping into God. There comes a time where you need to put a do not disturb sign even on the door. Tell your husband, wife, kid, hey, when you see that sign, don't even attempt to enter into the room. Do you understand? Listen to me. I'm thinking of, of Sister Cheryl. The more things that we can do with the support, with, with the breakthroughs that we need, the more things we can do. I'm not going to sit there and be doing kumbaya. You understand? I'm going to move. If God allowed the woman, I told you, Dr. Nikisha, I told you the story of how that, that you know, one day I'm going to find that boy in the church and I'm going to bless him. You, you, you know the one that I told you, told me that I can't sit there? Oh, I'm being serious. One day I'm going to get me an, oh, boss, I'm going to get me an envelope. It's the Sheila and I'm going to put some money in it. And I said, God bless you, sir. I want to bless you for pushing me into my destiny. I'll be serious. Because imagine if I sat at the place where I used to sit, I would miss this divine encounter. Do you remember the story? The lady sat next to me today with the bag. Oh, 
this the shadow, the bag. This time there, she sat next to me with the bag. I looked down that man. Then the bag had Kempiski on it. Ho, oh, Kabasia. Guess what I did? Went into my phone and I sowed the seed. And I put a seven in there somewhere. Oh Lord, I sowed the seed 107. I said, God, remember, she's sitting right next to me now. That means that the blessing is much closer than I think. Because, you know, over the last couple of days, listen to me, I want to talk, over the last couple of days, Sister as much as we've been praying, you know, like, when you come back to your senses, you're like, how is this going to be possible? How is this this year? Come on. I mean, you know, we, we, you know, we believe God, right? We trust God. But how is it going to be possible? When you come back to your normal self, after you've left the realms, and you come down to reality, that, you know, that's what they like to call it. The reality is that, Albert, you know, Ghana, you don't really know nobody here, you know, them kind of stuff. I mean, how is it going to happen? They saying the devil, this is just reason. It, it, you know, come on out, but be, be, be realistic. But by that woman sitting next to me, I'm using that as a confirmation that it is much closer than you and I think. And listen to me, God is not going to forget about you and I. We will testify of the goodness of Jehovah. I said, we will test him. Listen to me. Nothing. Listen to me. A man died. A prophet of God died and took the anointing into what use is the anointing when it is when it's in the grave? What use is the power when it is buried? What use is the glory if it is buried? You know how many people who are sitting on wealth, you know, blessed, I mean, money for, and, and they are dying and they are taking that wealth with them. It is of no use to them when they are dead. It has got to be transferred. It has got to be given to the legitimate owners. It has got to be given for those that have been earmarked to take over territories for the kingdom. And listen to me, this morning, I might as well start now. I'm not going to wait till evening time. I am crazy enough to believe that this is an assignment from God to let let me understand that it is much closer than I think. And I'm going to activate it. Oh, I'm going to act. Oh, Barsa, we're going to activate it. Listen to me. I'm pray there, there will come a time where everybody on prayer mantle. When, you know, when we do dead cancellation, you know what I'm talking about. You know the spiritual stuff they do where they burn all the dead, uh, Sister Cheryl. You know, they, they, they tell you bring all your all your uh, what do you call it all your uh, bills they burn it then the next day the same people call you just because it got burned they still have record on their computers oh Jesus they still have the records on their computers amen I'm talking about when I say supernatural we're going to have overflow that I'll say prayer man to everybody just bring your debts. Let's pay for it so that we can do kingdom assignment. So that we can be intercessors. For Christ. Am I making sense? We, we, we're going to be intercessors for Christ. I'm believing that. Because what happened on me, if I think back, and you know what's so funny? Where I used to sit, if I am a proud person, or if I want to prove a point, Sister Cheryl, I would have gone and sat there today because that seat that I would normally sit on was empty. Am I making sense? Do you understand? If I'm a proud person, I want to prove a point. Because it's so funny, you know, my wife asks me, why, you know, why, why didn't I sit there? I said, oh, it's okay, you know, I just like sitting next to this guy. If I'm a proud person, Sister Sheila, I can just go and pray and say, do you know who I am? Sit there, cross my legs, take out my tablet. Say, do you know who I am? But because I believe that even the things which look evil, even the things that people have done to me, Sister Cheryl, you know who I'm talking about. Yesterday, some, somebody who's been duped again called my wife and was just, you know, and was saying to my wife, why didn't you tell me the person is my wife? said, well, I did tell you. I, you know, I mean, I, I don't have to tell you everything. But, you know, when you saw that I was in there, that, would, that should have been, you know, uh, 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 the cue for you to also, you know, check yourself out of the place but you stayed and now the same thing that the person has been doing to a whole bunch of people now he's done it to you you know sister, you know, you know, sister cheryl you, you know who i'm talking about i said i don't want to hear this kind of stuff no more i've moved on from there listen to me prayer man to, i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but listen oh, 
I just heard the Lord say to me when they were said, I said, he said, Albert, it is much closer than what you think. You know, because listen, I'm, I like, listen, when I, when I went to London the last time before I came to Ghana, uh, the woman of God, Pastor Simone, very powerful woman, called me, said a whole bunch of stuff. What I do remember was she was talking about God was going to give me some divine connections, people that I don't know. Okay, you know, people you don't know, I guess you're going to pray for the minister to them and the Lord is going to use that to bless you. So remember, she said that. This is how I process things, okay? Now, this man that just gave me that prophecy about three weeks ago also said that you're going to meet some people. Okay? See, every prophet and how they see what God is showing them. The common denominator is that there has got to be a meeting with somebody or with a group of people. I guess prominent, wealthy people. And what the Lord will use me to do for them will cause there to be an opening. That is the common denominator. There has got to be a meeting. There has got to be a connection with somebody. Now, the preacher preached something today that blessed me. The triumphant entry. He said, some people, the donkey that you are supposed to sit on to get to that destination, or whatever is supposed to be the connector, is tied up. The donkey is still a donkey. But for the purpose or for the assignment that has been given to you, what is now, if the donkey is tied up and it is not released to find you in the geographical location that you are, listen to me, you will not be able to achieve that destined purpose. Now I thought I was going to wait tonight. Why wait tonight when I can do it this morning? I know some of you, I'm going to mess with your church going today, but you know what? Still go to church. But I want you to understand, but listen to me, I'm not fooling around. I am playing around. You understand? The Bible says that he will use the foolish things of this world to do what? To confound the wise. Now listen to me, sister. You know, sister Cheryl, I don't have it. Guess what? If I don't have it and I know a proud person, the least I can do is do something crazy. Because I believe and I know the God that I serve. That gentleman that came to tell me that, you know, I told you the story. She looked at me in the service. He who told me to sit here? I said, excuse me, sir. So, you know, preachers sit here. I said, okay. So I'm a pastor too. But you know, I just feel in my spirit to just move. It's so funny that the pastor, that, that you know, when, he, when the guy did that to me, the following Sunday when I went, uh, the, uh, there was another pastor who said, Brother Albert, he said, don't sit there. Why are you sitting there? Come and sit. I said, no, I'm okay. He tried to move me back to where I was. You know, I'm, I'm very happy here. Remember the gentleman that I told you that I sat next to that didn't have a job? One of my friends is trying to get him a car so he can start, you know, the taxi, you know, because he was a taxi driver. So, you know, one of the guys that I know is trying to get him a private car so he can start doing Uber. So he's getting his breakthrough because I sat next to him. God is not going to forget about me. God is not going to forget about you. Listen to me. I came home this morning. I'm like, God, are you, you know, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm like, hey, God, are you really going to do this thing? I, I like, God, are you, for God, are you really going to do it? Like, I'm like, God, are you really going to? Because, God, if you do this to me, God, I'll go and lie. I will roll around like I'm, I've lost my mind. As 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 pro, as as Prof. Kahn would say, you know, shout like you've lost your cotton picking mind. I will roll around like I ain't got no sense. Because what we're doing, listen to me, there are some tremors and some earthquakes which are taking place in the realms of the spirit and it is shaking and it is breaking down satanic and demonic barriers. It is destroying that which needs to be destroyed. It is silencing that which needs to be silenced. It is rebuking that which needs to be rebuked. This thing that we are doing, brothers and sisters, I came to make the announcement to you that it is not in vain. I know sometimes you can be tempted to look at the number. You see other people, they go four or five thousand people listen to them, and it's okay. If it's God, it will stand. Got no problem with that. But I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, anytime we come together, because our hearts are right, because God knows the cry in our hearts, because God knows what we want to do, God will not allow wickedness and God will not allow the demonic to prevail. Listen to me. Only time they will prevail is if we keep our mouth shut. If you like, cross your legs. Keep your mouth shut. The demons will be in power. See what the children did over the weekend. So children who can't vote yet decided to march. Not only did they march, decided to speak. So we've ha oh, we've had enough. We have had enough. Tired of going to school. I think one young girl was saying, what's the thing that they do? Like, it's, it's, it's a drill, right? Where they have to practice, you know, they have to kind of like run the drill so they'll know what to do when, if something was to happen. So I didn't go to school for that. I didn't go, I'm too young to be having to, you know, fire. No, 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 no. There's not a fire drill. There's like another one for the active shooter. Like if something like that is to happen. That's different, that's different to the fire drill, right? The fire drill, I know when there's fire. Or is it, is it called the same thing? Like they'll know where to hide and, you know, what every child, the role that every child has to play. It was the same thing? Okay. Some people say it's different, some people say but you, but you get a picture, right? Lockdown. That might make a little bit of sense to me, like lockdown, because something has happened here. Do you understand? Too young to be going through that stuff. You're going to sit there, and all you're going to think is profit. You're going to think of votes. You don't care. Your child or your children don't go to my school. Your child goes to a posh private school. As a matter of fact, your child has a security agent traveling with them. So you don't really care too much. When you, had it, when you have enough and your back is against the wall, Sister Cheryl, I don't know where this thing is going to, how it's going to manifest. I don't know how this thing is going to have and, you know, it is going to take on flesh and become a reality. But by reason of the fact that this individual, this woman sat next to me with that same bag, I command the voice of God, the one who puts flesh upon the word the one who said in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made listen to me i'm referencing the one who put flesh who put sand who put dirt on the thing that he spoke that what just now to the naked eye it became a reality i am commanding the forces of heaven in the name of jesus that that which is closed will become a reality that which is closed will manifest that which is closed manifest that which is closed manifest begin to manifest in Jesus name I was gonna wait tonight the Lord said what are you waiting tonight for I showed you the thing this morning you're gonna wait till tonight why are you gonna that's your problem you keep trying to delay stuff when I've when I told you it's closed in Jesus name sweat got into my eyes closer than you think Jesus is closer to you than you think he's always been there Lord open my eyes that I will see what I never seen before open my eyes to see what I've never seen before open my ears to hear what I've never heard before I will see what I need to see manifest father Every man, every woman, from Bishop John Francis, Pastor Simone, Father God, Pastor Sandra, Father God, the man of God, just a few weeks ago, have all spoken the word of God in the form of a puzzle that has been pieced together. 
it has culminated in me standing in this geographical location called Ghana where the release has to take place where the meeting between divinity and humanity has to merge so that God it shall become a reality father anything spiritual physical terrestrial my God I felt that yes Lord it means the battle is in the realms of the terrestrial. Hey, Bosha, Akaba, Su, Hava, Abadaba, Sukiri Briosa. There is absolutely nothing that you can do to prohibit what the Lord is going to do. This is not your scene, this is not your territory. I bind and I bind and I bind that which needs to be bound and I loose and I loose and I loose everything that needs to be loosed in the realms of the terrestrial world God where this battle seems to be a strong force fighting the release we destroy it command it to be broken in Jesus name amen I don't ever think I've ever used that word before terrestrial okay I'm gonna go do a study on it I feel a strong urge okay I feel very strong when I uh, said you know when the Holy Ghost just allowed me to say that which I'm gonna go study that realm and see what is taking place in there that we need to stand against okay so that tonight when we come we're going to pray Okay, I caught, listen to me, if you take these prayer points that I've been saying now seriously, trust me, you'll see the manifestation. Trust me, you will see the manifestation. Okay, I just don't do things just for the sake of it. I'm led by the Holy Ghost. That's the brother that you have connected to you in the season. I'm led by the Holy Ghost. I'm not greedy. Okay, I'm not greedy. Do you understand? I'm scared of God. You understand? I think about the people of God. And so this ministry is called by God. That's why we're still standing. So I'm going to go do a study on that realm. Okay? And when I come on tonight, come, come, go to church, have a blessed time, dress, get some food to eat, eat you some colored greens, eat you some candied yams, Lord Jesus in Jacksonville, eat you some, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, hey, listen, there's something that I've, I've missed. You know red lobster, right? God forgive me. I've come back into the flesh. You know red lobster. They have this thing, like these biscuits. Oh, Lord. Forgive me, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Red lobster. Man, I can, you know, when, when we get there, we prefer God, I can, eat, I can eat about 10. He said, Albert, slow down. He said, Albert, you can't have no more. Oh, Jesus. It's cheese. Listen, see, some, somebody's got the same issue like me. She even knows. It's cheese biscuits. She even knows the names. Oh, Jesus. Forgive me, God, for I've sinned. Lord Jesus. Ooh. See, I was in the spirit. Now, how did that come in? How did Red Lobster come into the spirit and take me out? Bring me to the flesh. The devil is alive. In Jesus' name. I'm going to go study that realm, okay? I was caught up in the spirit. See, somebody's mind went there. That's how I went there. Your mind went there before me. I ain't taking this blame. It's going to be... Somebody's mind went to Red Lobster. Devil is a liar. I'm bringing you back to the spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. But I'm telling you, man, they're, they're very nice. Very nice. You know, I bought... You, you know, like the... Um, What's the word? You know, like, I bought the formula. You know, like, they sell it in, where is it, BJ's or whatever, whatever. My brother took me there. So I bought a whole lot, you know, a whole lot. They tried to do it in Ghana, but you know they can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought, listen, I have about 10 of them mixtures. See? She, Sister Brenda even knows that they sell it in the store. That means she was thinking of it. Well, I, I, listen, I bought, I, bought, I bought pancakes. I bought all of them. But they tried to do the mixture, but, you know, they couldn't get it right. Oh, God. If I have to, I'll just come to America just for that. In Jesus' name. You know, so 
but come on tonight, okay? Yeah, oh, you tried it too, and it's not quite the same. Oh, so, you know, maybe it's not just them here. There must be something. I mean, obviously, you can't get it. You, you can't get it the same, you know, way as they do, you know, as they get it. Oh, God, forgive us, God, for we've sinned in Jesus' name. But listen, something about the terrestrial. I don't know much about that realm, but I'm going to go study it, okay? I'm going to go study it, and then we're going to come on tonight. Whatever I find, I'm going to, I'm going to let you have it. I'll send out the email after we pray. Okay, we can deal with that realm and take what... Listen to me. It was, Sister Cheryl, it wasn't coincidence that the lady was sitting next to me today. How is that? One day, I'll give, one day I, will give, I will give my testimony in that church and I'll tell them what the Lord has done. God is good. You know that? God is good. Amen. So listen, go have a blessed day, okay? I'm just going to go relax. You know, um, just go see what Micaiah is doing. Crying, 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 crying. I think he I think he doesn't like the heat. You know, he just like me, he can't stand the heat. But he's cool, you know, laughs, cry, you know, just pulls funny faces. He tries to copy when you're talking to him, when you make certain noise, he tries to replicate. You know, God has been good. I took him to the altar today and I prayed for him. God has been good. God has been good. God has been good. We love him and we thank him. Don't miss tonight, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna go do my studying. And I'll let you know what the Lord has shown me. In Jesus' name. Amen. God richly bless you. I'm praying for you. Make sure you come on tonight. Okay. Make sure you come on. Listen, we need to understand prayer. Sometimes it's because we haven't understood prayer. You understand? Sometimes it's because we haven't understood prayer. Come on tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. God richly bless you. Amen. Sister Tanika. I didn't see you yesterday. Because every time I see you, I have to call it out because I just like that name. Where was you yesterday and the day before the day before that? Where have you been? Have you been on? Don't lie to me now. Where have you been? In Jesus' name. Hi, see, I told you. See, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Benita. I owe you a call. Are you at church today? Are you at church today? I saw a missed call on my phone. Are you at church today? You, you, okay, all right. I'll call you. Why, why are you not going to church today? The devil is a lie. You been already? I'm going to call you. God bless every single person, okay? I love you all. It is well. In Jesus' name. Long story. That's my sister. Listen, she and me goes back and forth. She, listen, I know she loves me, but she just, she, she just won't listen to me. Just won't listen to me. She go back and forth. I said, listen, Benita, my man, I'm going to say, yeah, whatever. So, so I'm going to go call her, okay? I love you. Sister Julia, I love you all. It is good. You know, listen, it's, it's good. Teresa, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go. You know, it's good to have people. She said, bye, I'll put, you know. She, it's good to have people who keep you grounded. You see what I'm saying? They keep you grounded. You know, so they tell you about yourself every now and again. Hey, I know you. Don't go there. So she said, bye, I'll put. Love you still, Sister Benita. I'm going to call you, okay? So, remember, tonight, 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 tonight. Sister Tanika, I pray as well, though, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Lady Anne, I did call, but, you know, I guess maybe he was busy. I didn't get a return call from him. I maybe I'll try again. First, you don't succeed. Try again. Sister Benita, give me 15 minutes. I'm going to call you. I'm just going to do a bit of a research on... The terrestrial. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? And then I'll call you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed Sunday. See you later. Tonight. Tonight. Tonight is the night. Bye-bye.